Hey Divas, what's up? It's your girl Diva and welcome back to Diva's house. It's time for another lesson. That's right, it's a makeup Monday. So today we're talking about brush cleaning and cleaning our makeup and how to sanitize. So stay tuned for this lesson. Class is in session. Alright Diva, so of course for Makeup Monday we are doing some brush cleaning. So what I have in the sink is my Sigma Spa brush cleaning mat and I've used a little bit of Dawn Platinum to clean my brushes. Now I'm just going to dip that in the water and go in on the face side and swirl my brushes around. to get off any debris and makeup and this works really really well for getting my brushes clean now I'm gonna have to tell y'all I'm a little bougie when it comes to cleaning my brushes before before having the mat I used to do it just like this on my hands and then by the time I was done I had prune fingers and nobody got time for the prune fingers so I invested in the spa mat. Of course, guys, there are cheaper alternatives. This one was 32. Sigma recently just came out with another one that's about 25, I wanna say. It's just a smaller version of this. And then they have like the dupes for their Sigma spa glove that you can get probably just about, maybe in the dollar store or something like that. but. And then I just rinse them out under a little bit of warm water. So we got it nice and clean, got all that soap out. And then I'm gonna put them over to lay flat to dry on a towel. And now we're mat get all that photo and then as you can see over here I have laid all of my brushes out to dry just on a simple towel now my next investment is really going to be one of those brush trees and I've seen them on like the Chinese based websites for really cheap, as cheap as $7, even for bigger ones maybe about $10, but for right now just laying them out on a towel like this is really really simple. I'm only going to invest in that tree rack just so my brushes can hang this way all the water and stuff will drain this way so nothing gets caught up in there and starts to loosen up those bristles but this way has worked for me pretty well so next i'm going to show you what i do to say sanitize my brushes and it's as simple as all right so here is what i use in a spray bottle i have 91 percent rubbing alcohol i'm just going to spray my brushes and let them dry and that's it now I especially do this with my brushes that I use in my kit simply because the alcohol after I've washed them will kill any other lingering bacteria that may be in the brushes from using it on other people things of that nature and then I just let them dry 
I might do it spray them one more time with rubbing alcohol once they are dry let them dry again and then put them away simple as that one two three so let's move on to sanitizing makeup all right guys so it's time to start talking cleaning our makeup so generally I don't clean my normal everyday makeup because I use it myself I don't use my makeup on anyone else and the key to keeping your makeup clean is not to share it with anyone else now the stuff that I do clean is the palettes that are in my kit so stuff like this I have to keep clean because if I have clients that means I'm using these same products on different clients so of course I just showed you how I clean and sanitize my brushes I do that method even for my brushes that I use on my clients so I always spray them down with alcohol and I keep a bottle here in the house um, and keep that bottle that spray bottle in my kit just to spray down my stuff and normally after I leave say leave a job or if someone comes to me I'll clean my brushes as soon as I get home or if I'm here I'll clean my brushes and spray them down with alcohol now with my kits palettes I do the same thing I'll usually wipe down the outside spray that down when I open them up I'll just try to wipe around wipe around the whole palette making sure I get off any X whatever fell out all of that stuff and then spray these down with 91% proof alcohol and I do that with all of my palettes now I don't use lipsticks like the out the tube but what you would do if you do is if, if you've ever gone into say like I've gone into Mac and seen them do this when there's downtime for them you take a paper towel and rub that first layer that layer of lipstick off if you used it on someone now the best way to keep that clean though where it's not skin to skin contact with that lipstick is to use a lip brush this way you're taking the product off the lipstick and then putting it on the person so now when you get home you still want to sanitize that lipstick or if you have time when you're cleaning up at the end of your um, at the end with your client you take that lipstick and rub it on a paper towel and then even either spray it with some alcohol or rub it on spray the paper towel with some alcohol and then rub the lipstick back and forth on that let it dry and then once it's dry cover it back up now a great way to keep your lipsticks sanitized I depotted all of mine so I only have to dip in here but I still like to go back and spray my out spray these down because yes I dip in with the brushes or try to dip out what I may need and put it in a pan that I use this way it's not getting contaminated cross contaminated with other people's you know germs and bacteria and things like that with my eyeliners and stuff everything's falling out the kit and pencils that I may use on a client I will make sure to Again, like the lipstick, go on a paper towel, go back and forth with that, and then sharpen the pencil to remove that layer that I've used on that person. This way, it stays clean. Now, you can do these things for your own makeup. And with mascara, with using on a client, I don't use the wand that comes in this. I will take this out because I'm not going to use the same one on everybody. I have disposable ones that I will dip in here. And for each eye, I have enough where I can do for each eye. This way I'm not contaminating my mascara too often. But at the same token, 
if I've had this for three months, it's time to go in the garbage. So yes, that's how you would sanitize your kit makeup with some, you know, wipe the palettes down, whatever you're using. And then make sure that you spray them down and allow them to dry open. And then once everything is dry, close them up, put your stuff away. You want to do the same with your other stuff. With your lipstick, like I said, rub that back and forth on a paper towel to remove that. But the best way to stay clean if you're using your makeup on other people is to not use it out the tube. Depot that lipstick. This way, you can take out what you need from that little pot, use it, and make sure you use a lip brush this way you can always go home and wash that brush and spray that down also with alcohol so i hope these tips helped you guys for today we saw how I, how I clean my brushes and how i keep those clean and the best trick and i know everyone's not going to have that sigma spa mat they are dupes for that mat um i've seen where people have said like the pot um the mat that you can put your pots on, they have that kind of surface also. You can get one of those, say, from like the dollar store and use it to clean your brushes. This way you're not destroying your hands with all that water and oil and soap and stuff of that nature. Now, I would say try not to use your vegetable oil and things of that nature. It's nothing wrong with using a little bit of oil, but I would say use like almond oil or coconut oil this way too your brushes still have have a nicer scent than the coconut oil I mean the cooking oil and do not do that too often with your synthetic brushes you really can get away with using just a little bit of that if you're, you have it heavy with say foundation or whatever product you use for your face if it's heavy laden with that but Dawn Soap, for me, takes it away, and there's other great cleaning products that you can use for your brushes. Now, if you have natural hair brushes, you're not going to want to use Dawn Soap because you wouldn't use Dawn Soap in your hair. Use, like, a gentle shampoo, like baby shampoo or something of, or, you know, a mild shampoo on your natural hair brushes. All of mine happen to be synthetic fibers, so I use the Dawn Soap and my brushes come back soft every time without using any oils or anything on my brushes. They tend to come right back and be nice and fluffy like before. So I hope this lesson was great for you guys. You learned something new. You saw how I clean my brushes. Quick and easy, one, two, three. Lay them out to dry. In terms of cleaning my kit, all this stuff was already clean, so I, I haven't really done much in a while. But, like I said, personal makeup, if you're using your stuff and you're being good about throwing it out once it gets old, you really don't have to worry too much about sanitizing. I don't share my lipsticks. That's, that's my general thing. I don't share my lipsticks. And I don't share my mascara and stuff like that this way. Those are things that I know personally I put on my lips and put on my eyes. Nobody else is going to do it. So don't share your makeup. This way you keep your makeup personally clean. Now if you're a freelance or a pro or whatever the case was, your kit is something you always want to keep clean and sanitized because it's your bread and butter. And you want to make sure that you're not working unclean because then you know what your clients it's gonna reflect in your clients faces later so anyway my fellows divas that's all for this week's class I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson stay tuned for tutorial Friday I want to say this Friday we are definitely talking about blending I know last week I did, last week I said last Friday was blending but this week